the Bergside Bridge is uh, the most struck bridge in uh, Scotland route. So it's been hit uh, over 50 times in the last 10 years, which causes a lot of disruption to both rail and uh, road traffic in the local area. When the bridge is struck, the line has to be shut until it's inspected by a bridge examiner, and depending on the severity of the collision, the uh, highway has to be closed until it's repaired, or it can be reopened uh, after inspection. We went through a process of looking at what we could do to improve the bridge, so it's decided to increase the height of the bridge by just over a metre, which makes it passable for all uh, traffic on the British Road Network. Any normal sized after can go through it. Abnormal roads, something like uh, the wind turbines or things being transported to industrial plants, might have to go through a diversion route, but that would be planned in via the police, but all normal road traffic can pass under the bridge. The work itself was on site for around about uh, six weeks, so part of that was a, a five week uh, total road closure. So that did inconvenience the local public somewhat, but it was a diversion route put on to the full extent of that. And then we had a core 54 hour position of the railway where the old bridge was lifted out uh, using a transporter and the new bridge was installed in that weekend as well. Every couple of months an Arctic would veer off and hit the bridge which would cause massive delays in the whole area. I think this will mean a big deal, to, a great deal for the future for the area because it not only takes away the heavy traffic going through the village of Cleland and bring it into the outside, it will make a through flow, through, through flow of traffic and it might give opportunities to open this area up for future development.